Hey, 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 Mr. Warrior, like you're wondering, oh my goodness, what happened to me? Oh my goodness. You know when that alien ship beamed me up? I thought they were just kidding that like in 24 hours that I was going to turn into one of them. Oh my goodness, look at my, oh, that's just, what happened to my hair? <laughs> oh my goodness, this guy's just scaring me. He's scaring me. Oh my goodness, reflection. Well, hey, you know we're here for math, right? <laughs> yeah, we're not here to beam ourselves to another planet. Although that could be fun. But no, I'm here to be because we're going to be doing another math video. Anyway, we're going to be making like units pictorial. I know you're still freaking out from that guy. Isn't he just, he's scary. I, I bet I probably scared a few of you. <laughs> anyway, it really, is, it really is me behind that avatar, I have to admit. Anyway, so we're going to be making like units pictorially, and pictorially just means like making a picture of something. So when we look at this, we'll say making like units, and the units meaning that the denominators are going to be similar, or the same, I should say, not similar, and then we're going to represent that pictorial. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, because I know we have a lot of work to do. Anyway, Yoya, are you guys ready? I'm pumped. This is it. Students will be able to, that's you guys, not me. Add fractions with unlike, ooh, keyword unlike, units, and using the strategy of creating equivalent fractions. See, that's what, we might get this unlike, and we're gonna have to make them like. Now, let me see, let's go on here with the application problem. It says here that Alex squeezed two liters of juice for breakfast. If he pours the juice equally into five glasses, oh my goodness, key words. How many liters of juice will be in each glass? Go ahead and we're gonna do something called the RWD method, okay? This is just gonna be a process that we're gonna start doing. The R stands for, you guess it, read. So we're gonna read very, very carefully. We'll even reread if we need to, okay? The W is gonna stand for the right and the D is going to be for the draw. Get it? R, W, D. So again, it says that he's squeezing two liters of juice. This sounds like the whole part. Okay, when we look at this, yeah, basically, it's that's our whole, or two liters. So how many parts are we breaking two liters into? Well, if we look at it, it tells us right here, he's going to pour that juice equally into five equal glasses, or, well, it says juice equally into five glasses, but that's basically what we're saying. So we're going to be then taking that two liters in and dividing it by five, okay? And that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and get, let's get our uh, little, um, what do you call that thing, that tape diagram? I don't know, will this one work? Let me see. Yeah, I know, it's like pre-made, huh? Look at that already. I like that. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and let's put up here on the top that it, we did decide that two liters is going to be the whole number. And then of course, that yellow bracket you can see represents one unit. That's right, numero uno. So we have one unit here and we don't really know what that is at this point. We really don't. That's why we just put a kind of question mark. What we do know, we do know that five units, and this has already been divided as you see that, five units is going to be equal to two L. We'll stand for liters, okay? So we know that that whole amount is two L. Therefore, in order to get one unit, which is what it's asking us, how many liters of juice uh, will be in each glass, we need to take our two liters and we need to divide it, right, by five. Now what's nice about this division is, is this is gonna put us right into a simple fraction because two divided by five is two over five. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I'm liking this math. Thank you very much. So that basically means that two-fifths liter is going to be in each glass, okay? And I'm just gonna put down here, each glass. Man, really? It's over, the problem's already over. That was too easy. Well, but there was a bonus. The bonus is how many milliliters are in each glass. So since we have two-fifths liter in each glass, we'd have five of those, but how many milliliters is that in each glass? So let's go ahead and get ourselves another tape diagram, pull one out, because what we're gonna basically be doing here, if you look at this, this looks very, very similar to like what we already did. I know, you're thinking, Mr. Wara, that's the exact same diagram. You're like cheating, Mr. Wara. Uh, okay, you call me a cheater? All right, 
I am not. I am simply using a resource that is readily available to me. But when we put two leaders up there, we're basically going to say that, well, yeah, we're going to have two leaders. But that happens to equal 2,000, if you recall our wonderful metric system, milliliters, because milli means 1,000. So we have 2,000 milliliters. Again, we don't know what one unit will be, but now we have a completely different problem because we're not going to be taking 2 divided by 5, but rather 2,000. That's right, the big 2, triple O, as I like to call them. Yeah, divided by 5, same amount. Now 5 is going to go into 20. Hmm, let me think, 4 times. Oh, and the rest of this gets easy. Well, you have to be really careful to bring the zero down. Five goes into zero, zero times. We still have another zero. Five goes into that zero, zero times. Okay, and if we can double check our work, there's our 20, and then we have two more zeros. Yes, 2,000. Therefore, that bonus piece of cake. 400, uh, I would say that would be 400 milliliters, not liters, milliliters um, of juice, okay? And then I'm just going to say the rest here. It will be in each glass. Yes, I really like that problem. I can't wait to see what's on page two. Please, change the page. ta -da! Here we go. Oh, my goodness. It's a snake. Oh, wow. That kind of scared me on that one there. Wow. And he's one of those faders, isn't he? Oh, yeah, sure. Try to hide. Come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this didn't work out quite how I wanted to. I was really going to actually scare you guys, you know. It was supposed to not be shown, and then I was supposed to go click, and then you guys go, ah, right? So anyways, yeah, Mr. War, I know. That, was, that wouldn't be very nice, would it? And so we're going to let the snake go away. So hopefully, is it gone? I hope so. All right, it's time for a little concept development. Okay, concept development. So our concept development here, we're basically looking at this here. What we're going to try to do is, you know, you may, let's think back in a time when, what we learned when we were adding in third grade. Do you recall third grade? You know, when we said like, what is one adult plus three adults? Okay, quick, everybody, hands up. Yes, you would be correct. I heard you there in the back, deep, deep back row there. That was four adults because one adult plus three adults is going to be four adults. So you may recall that the unit of measure doesn't matter. So even if we have one fifth, and we say plus three fifths, okay? You know, that's gonna equal four fifths. Seems simple, doesn't it? Because we gave, we gave the example of the actual adults, but this is basically the same thing. Ooh, goodbye. Anyway, I know you like to watch that anyway. I really like to do it, it's a lot of fun. So then we come over here, and so basically, but if we say like, like what is one child plus three adults, then you know we, we can't add children and adults because they're not the same. It seems pretty simple. But what we could do is we could maybe change that. So if we had like one child, let's say one child plus three adults, which is I think the problem I, I gave you, we can't add that. They're not the same. But what if we just change that into people? Because a child is a type of person, right? And so adults is the same. So we could say one person plus three people, okay? equals four people. So we found a way to add these. And this is what our focus is on today's objective is basically we're looking at this unlike units. These units are unlike each other. And we're trying to find a strategy to make these fractions equivalent. And that's what we're going to be doing with numbers. This was just an example with, um, you know, people and adults and that kind of thing. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get started. So you get kind of the idea of where we're going with all of this. So let me go ahead and then flip the page. Is there anything else hiding here? I don't think so. Okay, so let's take a real problem where this is actually the case. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my magic pen out. But don't get too excited. You notice that that denominator is 2 and that denominator is 4. Okay, 2 and 4. Now that's kind of um, a problem, right? We can't add those. We just found that out. But maybe we could do something else. For example, if we look at it this way, I'm going to go ahead and get my crayon. What do I want a blue? No, red. There we go. Oops, I smudged my other one. Okay, so basically we could show one half like we did in previous videos, right? And we could go ahead and color this in, showing that this is one half. And everybody would be okay with that. So, sure, I'm okay with that. And so right here at the bottom, I'm going to put one half, okay? And then I'm going to be adding one fourth. And as you can see, if I bring in my oh, wrong one, crayon, come on, crayon. We'll do green this time. So I'm going to be, and it's already divided in fourths for me, if you notice that already. So all I'm doing is, and I'm going to do one of these like this. These units aren't the same. So I can't 
add them because this piece is not the same size as that piece. That's why I can't add those two together. However, underdog to the rescue. Da -da -da. I could actually find a way of regrouping them and making them into similar sizes. For example, see if I take this and I'm just gonna put this on top, watch this. Now look at that. If I put that on top, see now I have equal pieces, see that? And here I have equal pieces. I'd have two and those two, see those would be the same size. So it's a way of looking at this. Now, how do I know? Well, there's a couple ways you could see that you might be able to tell right away that this is halfway mark is the halfway here. So this would be two quarters here and here we have one half and then the same. So by actually taking a line, what you could do is you could draw two lines here and make it the same that way or, and that would be okay, or we could make it into eighths and even break it down even further. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of this particular thing, I'm gonna go ahead and then turn it into eighths because it, it literally sat right on top. So now I'm gonna take that same amount, see? And now I have two of these and I also have to color in this because I need to color in half of it like this. But in this particular problem, it isn't one half. We've just created, yeah, isn't this really cool? I know, this is like, now we have four eighths. Yeah, that's right, and now we have an equivalent fraction. I know you're wondering, Mr. Warren, you just get way too excited about math. I know, what can I say? Math is fun. So, I'm gonna come back over here and get a crayon and do the same thing over here. So now I have that one, see? And now I can, and that shows that same amount. See, now I can add these because they're all the same unit. Of course, I have to write what this equivalent fraction would be, and I see two shaded, and I see two, four, six, eight. See, now I have same denominator, woohoo! Now I can add them together and I get six over eight. I mean, isn't that nice? This is a neat way so that you can see what's actually happening. That's why I like these little frames I made. That's right, I made these frames myself. Okay, and uh, well, the alien guy, he kind of helped me a little bit. So, now we can move on to another problem. And probably, I think it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, wait, is that the ones I want? Let me see, yeah, I think so. I hope I don't make a mistake. Spelling in my head, it's so hard. Okay, so we'll go on to another one. Woo, it's a chimp. It's a baby chimp. Hey, pretty cool guy. Hey, want a little bigote? Yeah. Ooh, they give you a blue one there. Yeah, you know, you look really, really cool. Nice, I like it. I draw you a hat, but I'm not really much of. Oh, and there's a banana. What do you know? What are the odds on that? Hey, banana. I bet you want this thing, huh? Hey, you want that banana? I know you were thinking what I'm thinking. You know what? He's going to eat this banana. Is a little chimp eat this big banana? It looks pretty big. Maybe I should make it really tiny. There you go, more your size. Will you eat it? Let me see. Ah, oh, look at that, that baby chimp. Good job, buddy. All right, so back to our math problem. So now we have two thirds plus one quarter. Again, major problem here, folks. You know, look at that. We don't have similar uh, we don't have the same, we don't have the same denominator. It's not the same unit, and this is what they mean by the unit. These are unlike units, they're not the same. That's a problem. But if you tell by looking at it, you could already see, aha, I know what Mr. War is gonna do. He's gonna go ahead and take this. See, now if I were to make these and, and basically regroup these in a way that will have the same equal units. See, and I think you see, you can. 4 times 3 is 12, so you can already see that. But let's go ahead and go through the process here and let's get our crayon. So we'll take this one here again. Now this is, I should label these this time. I, didn't, I don't know if I labeled the last one, but I'm gonna label these with little, little brackets because basically this is letting us know that there's three equal pieces. That's that denominator. And it's letting us know the two then are going to be shaded. So we'll do that, but then this time I am going to get out a pen and I am going to, um, do my bracket, see? So that's two thirds. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with a quarter. I know, come on, crayon, bring me something there, that'll work. And the quarter is just gonna be one of these, okay? So I'm gonna color that in, and then that's gonna represent my one quarter, okay? And there we go. And we're adding these together. Now you can see this is what ends up happening here. Now this here shows that same amount. And again, how do you know whether or not, like how do you know to get from here to here? You might wonder if you're looking at it going, well, Mr. Wara, I see that these pieces are unequal and I see that these are equal, but how did you get from here to here? And I would say, you know what I would say to that question? I would say, 
Great question. And the best thing I can say is if you look at this, if you were to draw four lines in and make it equal straight across, you'd have your new, see, and that's all I basically did. I mean, these were already made. See, now you can see by looking that we're gonna have three here. So that one quarter right there is going to be three out of 12, okay? And three twelfths is equal to, we'll put this one over here. And, and of course, this is gonna be shaded. I wonder if there's a way I could, this would be really cool, is to do a, a, a yeah, that would be really cool. See, now I can just bring that right on over there. I know. And we'll do that one there. See, save me some time. And now you can see we have a completely different set of units here. We have twelfths. Each one, one twelfth. Therefore, on this side, now we have four, we have eight. And eight twelfths then is equal to two thirds. And if you recall from that previous lesson, two thirds, what would you have to multiply to get that new fraction? Here? Did you all say four? Uh, I know you did, and that would be four. See, and that's how it got us to eight twelfths. Now, what's unusual about this particular problem is we have 11 twelfths. Oh, we still have less than one. Okay, I thought it was gonna go over. We have 11 over 12, because now we can add those together because our denominators are the same. Okay, and I'm gonna try to keep cruising along, and what am I thinking here at this point? Maybe, maybe this. Okay, so. Move on to, I think, the last and final page. So we're gonna kinda of go through this really fast because, I don't know, I'm hoping you guys are getting the hang of this here. It looks pretty easy. Okay, again, five and three. That's a problem. Okay, they're unlike denominators. We can't add them together because the units are not the same. So therefore, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll first shade and show our work. This is just no. We have fifths, so that means I have one, two, three, four, five, okay, and two of them are gonna be shaded. Okay, there's my two. And then over here, you have two thirds. Well, there's my three equal pieces. And then it's saying that two thirds, so two is going to be shaded here. Now, as you can see again, if we were to draw those lines in over here and those over there, now suddenly we have, that's right, 15 Because we have five going one way and three going the other way, and five times three is 15. You can see down below how that would be true. Okay, exactly the same. We just regrouped them, and that's what the equivalent fractions are. And why that is so important is because it allows us to add fractions together. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't be able to add them. They wouldn't be equal. And that's the whole point of the today's lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And let me see. I think I need to give you this. I sure hope. It's weird giving it to you in all these different pieces. Okay. So that should end this video. I don't believe I'm missing anything else. That will be it, right? Hopefully, hopefully. Yes, I believe so. So, with that, my friends, this has been a real, real fun experience. What can you do, guys, with this nap video? And I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Live long and prosper, my friends.